Hello, everyone. Thank you all for joining here today. Uh, my name is Alex Lazoff. I'm the Director of Customer Engagement and Lifecycle Yotpo. With me here is Kate Anderson, UGC Marketing Director. She's the one that set this beautiful webinar up. Again, I want to thank you all so much for your time. I know you're really busy. And today we're going to talk about optimizing the conversion funnel with UGC. Uh, UGC is a user-generated content or your customer's voice. Now, before we get going, I think it's important that I get a sense of the audience we're working with. Now, as mentioned, today we're going to talk about a few things, but mainly how to leverage your customer's voice in the most significant sections of your buyer's journey to be able to actually increase conversions and keep loyal long-time customers. So, to begin this, I just want to do a quick poll, and you'll see it in just a second. What's your biggest pain point in the conversion funnel? So I'd love for you all to just take a moment, a couple of seconds to tell me, is it bringing traffic to your, to your site? Once they land, keeping them there, the checkout card and the abandonment and the purchase itself, or is it the retention and the repurchase? All right. We've got a lot of responses. This is wonderful. And it looks like traffic wins as the uh, number one biggest need, which is wonderful. I hear it all the time, and we're going to talk a lot about that here today. So let's get back to the webinar. Now, before we get into the details, I want to talk really high level about who we are and what Yotpo is all about. So we're a customer content marketing platform, an all-in-one solution that helps you leverage your customer's voice through reviews, through photos, through questions and answers and make sure that they're in every step of the buyer journey to boost trust, social proof, and of course sales. Now, all in all, we're here to get you as much content as possible in every single form, in the highest quantities, and make sure they're strategically placed as seamlessly as possible across the entire buyer journey. And we're gonna talk about how we at Yalpo leverage this with our customers. So, quickly, I wanna talk about how marketing looks like today for you business owners. Now, you have to be everywhere, all the time. Your customers can be on Google, they can be on LinkedIn, they can be on Instagram, they can be on Facebook. And the truth is that you always have to be engaging with them. You have to be able to provide them an outlet to speak with you. They're always looking to purchase products through these different channels. And as a business, you have to somehow make sure that you're constantly engaging with them with fresh content. And of course, when you're a smaller business, this can be really difficult. You have to put a lot of money on agencies, maybe on SEO optimizers, maybe on bloggers to build that fresh content and boost that quality score for your SEO. It's a really complicated world. And there's only so much time in a day. So if there's somehow a way that you can kind of tackle this seamlessly, organically, and save costs while you're doing it, this is a benefit for all. And this is the truth. This is what you can do today. By just using your customer's voice, you can actually solve so many of these issues and just let everything automatically grow. Now, why UGC? I think we all know that before uh, the Amazons and things like that, it's very difficult to trust the marketing that we see. You know, these companies, you guys spend so much money to create an incredible marketing campaign year round with seasonal changings. The truth is that people don't normally believe that anymore, right? Of course, your brand, you're the brand, it's your product, you're gonna say how incredible it is. The impact it has today is just not as great as it should be. People don't trust it, there's no reliability in it. And even more so, even the sites that have reviews, they can come from bots, right? They can come from a marketing agency, there's no real name attached to it, there's no verification to it. So it's really important that not only do you leverage your customer's voice to help you let, let, use that content and boost that trust, but that it's actually stamped and verified. And today we're going to talk about some of these ways to do this. So we'll talk about the traffic to your site and how it can be optimized. Once they land on your site, how you can keep them there and push them through till the checkout. And of course, once they buy your product, that's not the end of their journey. There's still more to do and you can actually maximize the value by actually using all these tactics. So. Let's start with a nice example. Here you have your average shopper, let's call her Jane, and she's looking to buy, let's say, a watch for her father, and she goes on Google and types, you know, watches for Father's Day, or, you know, watches for men, 2017. And typically, they'll click search on Google and they'll start browsing through page one. 
Now, this is actually the very first placement of the UGC. And most people don't know this, but you can actually have incredible results and boost all your SEO metrics by just putting the content right there on the search result. And Google has three main ways of doing this. And they've partnered with specific companies that allow them to do this. And, and we're so lucky to be a Google partner. And this is a really strong aspect of this product. So what you're seeing here is the three different formats. So the first one is called Google Seller Ratings. So this is when you have your site up here as an ad. Now, again, people are searching for watches, sunglasses, whatever it may be, but they're not sure what they're looking for. So typically, your site along with your biggest competitors are appearing. So why would someone click on your site rather than someone else's when they don't know either of you, right? Or maybe they'll just go to Amazon because that's who they trust. You need to build that trust right here. And with Google Seller Ratings, what this does is we are able to send Google all of the stars and the aggregate star rating and all the reviews that have been written about your business to instantly say, hey, look, this actually has a five out of five. This website is legitimate. Now, the second way is rich snippets. Of course, increasing, increasing click-through rate on ads is great and the stars will do it, but that costs, right? Now, the second way is actually organic. By placing rich snippets on your product pages, which Yalpo can actually facilitate with the click of a button, we're able to mark up your product page and ensure that all of the reviews, the aggregate star rating, are actually sent organically so that right beneath your product URL, those stars are showing. So imagine seeing a product page which, with a bunch of different watch companies and one of them just has five stars right there in it. And as you can see, these stats are provided by Google. So Google shows that it could have a 30% increase in click-through rate. And this is really tremendous. And the third is the product listing ads. Um, and as you can see, here are four watches appearing, one of which has over almost 200 positive five-star reviews. Now, I think we can all agree that this can only help increase that click-through rate. And as you can see, Google's actually studied this because they make more money when people click on the ad. And this is why they're pushing more and more content to be sent here because it really does work. It increases that traffic. But the magic is that it doesn't just increase traffic, it increases qualified traffic. The stars are driving the right people to go to your site. And what happens when you do this is the people clicking on these ads land on your site and they stay, reducing the bounce rate, increasing that conversion, and guess what that happens to your ad spend? It goes down because as qualified traffic goes to your site and the bounce rate drops, Google actually lowers their cost to your business for the ads. And over time, as the content builds on itself, and these reviews no longer show 200, they now show 2,000, you can bet that the influence along with it will rise. So the ROI you receive from such a simple thing like putting stars and content on the, on the search results themselves is truly exponential. But let's talk about a couple other acquisition channels, but this is truly a really great way to boost traffic to your site. So simple, so seamlessly, and once it's set up, it stays and builds over time. Now, here we have Facebook, another humongous marketplace that's really doing tremendously today. And what you're seeing is two different ways, just two of the many that you're able to leverage your customers' reviews and their content uh, on such a great platform that really has a huge audience looking to buy today. Now, on the big screen, you'll see that Jennifer posted her five-star review. She also took a photo and sent it out, and this is on her own personal network, all right? So let's go back to Jane. Let's say she didn't go on Google. She's instead went on Google, didn't find it, went to Facebook and just, just browsing around. And she sees that her best friend bought this bracelet, posted a five-star review about it, showed a picture, she loved it. And you know what? She's her best friend. The, the social proof here is even stronger because you already trust her. You could even call her and ask her and say, hey, you really loved it that much? You have yourself someone that's clicking on that link and not going back to the product page. And on the right is actually an ad. Right, so ads are really complicated. Some people pay agencies also a lot of money for this to create fresh ads all the time to make sure the content is new and people are keeping engaged. So here what you can see is actually what we call dynamic retargeting ad. And the magic behind this is that once it's set up, you don't really have to go back and touch, touch anything because it'll always be sending the ad specifically to people who already landed on your site, maybe left, changed their mind, and they're not getting targeted with amazing positive reviews of these products they're seeing. So it's always fresh, it's always staying new, and again, it, once it's set up, you don't have to touch it, and they work so well. It's targeting the exact right customer you need. So Facebook, another incredible way to boost traffic 
by just sharing the content your customers are doing or writing for you or having them share it themselves. And there are ways to incentivize them to do this. And finally, once you as the business get the review, why not share it with your following? I'm sure you all work really hard to get a lot of followers on your business page, but you have to keep them engaged. You have to make sure that they remember who you are. And again, to do this can be really costly in time and in resources. So you can easily set up automations to actually just push fresh brand new reviews with great new photos off to this following base. And of course, depending on what software you're using, Yotpo tracks all of this for you. Any click you get, it goes right to the product page and they buy it, all trackable. But again, another easy, simple, automated way to leverage your content on Facebook to just acquire more customers. So Jane went ahead and clicked and she went onto the product page. Perfect, right? Now she's browsing through the product page, looking at what it is that this product's all about. And this is where the content really, really hits home because people want to know that this is exactly what they're looking for, that it fits them well, the value's high, it looks the way it should, and everyone loves it. And the more content you have on this page, the stronger the influence will be. So what you see as the point number one is the design as the custom review form, which shows design, fit, feel, and value. These are the four strongest aspects of each of Adormi's products that are aggregated now right at the top. So imagine if you're looking through this product page and you want to make sure that it's the most beautifully designed bra that everyone has ever seen. And all of a sudden, without even needing one review, you see that over 300 people gave it a four out of five in design. All of a sudden, that, that concern is trumped and they're able to proceed with the buy. But what if they actually have a question about the strap or they want to make sure that it can be washed, right? So the number two you see is our questions and answers tab. And right here, people are actually able to submit a question specific to this product. And I'll talk about this in more detail later, but we've actually built it in a way that you as a business can have your past buyers actually answer for you. Imagine the legitimacy behind that response. Um, but again, right there, if anyone has any questions, Adormi's been with us for a while. They already had 42 on this product, and odds are that your question is going to be there and already answered. Again, closing that loop. Now, the third is what I spoke about earlier. There's too many fake reviews out there. It's important to stamp it with a verification badge, and that's what this shows. It's a verified buyer. This is not a marketing company that the company paid to write this review. This is not a bot. This is verified, and it's legitimate. Now, the fourth one user-generated photos, right? Why stop at reviews? Why stop at questions and answers? All types of content are welcomed here. And the photos have an incredible impact also. So here you can see the photos of Ruth right there with her product, really incredible. And finally, again, we're all about content. So if you'd like, you can choose to have them be able to actually write it on the product itself. And of course, they'll get an email to verify they're a human to avoid the bots from doing, uh, taking advantage of this all different ways to truly leverage content on product pages to push that conversion onto the checkout cart. Now, they went ahead, put it on the checkout cart, bought the product, awesome. But this is not the end of this customer's journey. You can always maximize on the value past the purchase. And of course, as you all know, returning buyers are critical to a business success. So there's a few ways that you can leverage this. Now, first off, getting the review itself, right? So a couple weeks later, you send that customer an email saying, hey, so happy about the product. What about you tell us what you think about it? So what you're seeing on the first screen is what we call our email review form. And this is pretty much what got us to where we are today. It's the ability to write a review within the email asking for it. Lifts every barrier in the way of them actually giving you their opinion. No click here, go there, log in why they're doing you a favor, make it easy for them, and they will give you their opinion. So Yapo developed this and they're able to write within the email, just give you that content and it really works. Now the second one is what I mentioned, which is our questions and answers tool. And this is Movement, another great company that works with Yapo, where a customer went on that product, asked a question, and it got sent to a past buyer to be answered. Another great, great way to re-engage with your clients. And then finally, you have the discount code. And if you notice beneath it, there's upsells with it. And this is truly one of the most powerful ways to get returning buyers. And it works. It works. So what you're seeing here is after someone writes the review, they're incentivized by Club She here to write a, get a coupon and come back and buy more. And right beneath it are three upsells. And the way these, these things usually work is the products that appear are those most similarly and, and typically purchased with the product they bought already. 
So people click on that, they go back to the product page, plug in the coupon, and you have yourself another purchase. Truly just very simple ways to engage with your customers after the purchase, right? Get them to write content, get them to answer another fellow potential buyer's question, and give them a coupon as a thank you for doing you a favor and either writing or sharing the review uh, and have them come back with a simple click of a button to buy another product you know they'll love. Here you can see, just to get like a dive in example of our questions and answers tool, here's a verified reviewer asked a question and the business itself went ahead and answered it very seamlessly. But you can also, like I said, have your past buyers do this as well. And look at this, right? We typically send it to say the past 15 buyers to be able to ask them to write the review uh, via the response to the question. And if it doesn't get answered, you can jump in and do it. But Again, imagine the legitimacy if the business isn't the one answering, but a customer actually says, this is the perfect fit. You need to buy this. It just works. So I just want to quickly show you a live example. You can all go to the site ProShot, but I just want to show you, this is the product page. You can see the star ratings up top. You can see how this business actually used some of those user generated photos for the marketing images that they're using. looks very beautiful here's our reviews widget you can see there's a lot of photos that are being submitted with the reviews themselves people already asked some questions looks really nice on site and again it's just proof that this product is what it says it is it's so many people so many photos so much content just saying buy this product it works it's great and it really does boost that on-site conversion tremendously. And again, the most important thing is having the information in front of them right away. Today's, everyone needs instant gratification. They need to have the information right away. There's too much competition out there. Once they're on your site, you need to close this deal. And if they leave because they, are, they have doubts in any way, shape, or form of your product, they probably will be very difficult to come back. So it's important to use content and your customer's voice to just answer all these doubts and all these concerns to get them to go ahead and buy the product. And what you're seeing here is our review tab. So this houses either just the product reviews of the product page you're on your, right now, or if you place it on the home page, it has all of your site reviews and all of your product reviews. This is one of the easiest ways to reduce bounce rate. Easiest ways. Just has an abundance of fresh, amazing content that says you should stay here. There's something real for you to see. But, like I said, the more content, the merrier. And reviews are not the only way to get it. So, there's been, we partnered with Instagram, Yelpo partnered with Instagram. And what you're seeing in this picture is Jen12 posted a photo of her with her beautiful brand new away travel bags. Now, look at how she hashtags at uh, hashtag travel away. This is their hashtag. Now what you're seeing in the middle is actually the Yacht Paul dashboard where Away Travel is plugging in their hashtag, finding that brand new photo, and they go ahead and click publish. And what you're seeing on the final screen is the actual product page, and there it is, the photo right there. Now remember, on Instagram, when people post a photo and hashtag your business, they're not doing it for their friends. They want you to find it. They want you to find it. So. There's many different ways that we can actually leverage this exact partnership to re-engage also with your customers. And I'll talk about that in a little moment, but such an easy way to just get an immense amount of content because at the end of the day, these pictures, once they're on the back or a few scrolls down, they're not going to be ever seen again. And all of a sudden, it lost all its monetary value. So why do that? All this content can be actually leveraged all over your product page, on gallery pages, on home pages because the photos are really powerful, they're really impactful, and they drive people to click through it, see them live, see the product in other people's hands, and it, got, and it gets people to buy the product and trust it even more. So I wanna show you Handboards. This is an incredible customer of ours, and they've been leveraging the Instagram partnership heavily. Here you can see their hashtag and how they're leveraging it out all over the product page. This is called the Photos Carousel. This is all fresh content, and the beautiful thing is, as you can see, this photo was actually submitted through a review, this one through Instagram, this through a review. You are getting it from everywhere, right? Like I said in the beginning, you need to be everywhere at all times, constantly engaging with your customers. 
And if you have one place to do this all, the job becomes much easier than you think. And now let's scroll down to the bottom where you'll see that these photos are right there also beneath the reviews themselves. Now, all the content is great, everything is wonderful, but of course, at the end of the day, it's very important that you're able to actually control this conversation. You need to make sure that you're managing the content, that you're taking advantage of it, but that it's also not hurting you, that you're learning from it, and making sure that everyone is aware of it. So it's important that you have someone that is able to moder mo moderate these reviews, but there's a few ways you can do it, right? Not everyone has the same amount of time in a day to dedicate to this. So one way is, just for an example, Yapo has an in-house team that can actually do this for you. Easy peasy, you never have to worry about it. Agree, pre agreed upon SLAs, and we're all set. But the best way to do this, of course, is through our AI. We have an incredible system that actually can read the reviews themselves, the content within it, and understand the sentiment behind it. Is it a positive sentiment? Is it a negative sentiment? Or is it neutral? I think we've all learned that five-star reviews, meaning reviews with five stars, doesn't always mean it has great content. Some people even take advantage and put five stars with a really bad review. So it's important that you work with a automation that actually catches these things. And for example, in Yapo, we developed this artificial intelligence and this machine learning that over time has only become stronger. It is now over 95% accurate at determining whether it's positive, negative, or neutral. So you can just put it on autopilot, let us do the work, and just check in once in a while to actually read over the negative reviews because you know what? They're really important for you to understand. And even more so, you can actually re-engage with them once again at this very moment because the one-star reviews shouldn't be ignored. These are unhappy customers. You should comment to them, and you can facilitate this easily, and you can comment to them privately or publicly, and if it's a one-star review, do it privately. Get it fixed. And once it's done and you have a brand new, extremely happy customer because you solved their problem, you can actually resend that mail off the purchase email and get them to replace that one star with a five star. But again, controlling the conversation is critical and being in a place that does this well is even more important. And here you can see that in mail form I was telling you about. Someone gets the email asking them for the review. They click in, right there, they type what they feel. and they click submit. So simple, so easy, frictionless, seamless, no problems and no barriers. And this is what drives people to write five times the amount of content when they receive emails like this. So all this is great, you have a lot of content, everything is working well, or is it? Or is it, right? You need to understand that what is working well, what channels are bringing in the most traffic, is it Facebook, is it Google, what on your site is working, what is too hidden, are people finding the reviews well? If they are, is it on the home page? Is it on the product page? How much of the end sales are actually interacting with these widgets and these different, this different content? What is the conversion rate changing by, with and without reviews? Is there an impact to bottom line sales? Has the average order value, are people buying more products when they read reviews than when they don't? And if they're not, or if they are, how can we enhance this and how can we make it better and stronger? So analytics and insights are critical, but as I mentioned at the beginning, sometimes you have eight or 10 different softwares managing your customer's voice, and it's almost impossible to segment all this data. So having one place to really understand what your customers are doing, where they're coming from, what they're interacting with, and how much of an impact it's having, it's truly game-changing for you because you can actually use this to improve and see the improvement over time. Now, that little button that says acquisition, what that does is it actually shows you the ROI you're making on those coupons that you're sending. Or let's say you have someone answering a question. Did they come back to your site and buy more? Or the upsells. What's working? What's not? So you can double down and ensure that you're doing things right. And this is what Yelpo is all about. Analytics are number one. And improving gradually over time is what makes businesses succeed. So let's do a full journey with UGC to kind of wrap this up from beginning to end so you fully understand it, okay? So what you have here is a Google search, right? Someone types super cute bracelet, right? Again, random, random search. Click search. Look at that. Pura Vida. And what is that called? Do you notice it's not an ad? That is called Rich Snippets. A thousand reviews with five stars were submitted for this. They went ahead and clicked. 
Here you can see the user generated content in the sense of the star ratings. You can see the photo submitted. When you scroll down, which will happen in a sec, you'll see all the reviews. Over 1,041 five star reviews were submitted for this bracelet. I think you're already convinced to buy it without even having to read anything. I have a couple questions up. Oh, I guess I got my answer. Perfect. I go back. And as you can see, it's in shekels because this video was taken in Israel in our headquarters. Now they're in the shopping cart, right? They're about to buy something and, oh wait, there's some interesting photos here. Let me check them out. Oh, and more bracelets that are just like the one I love with also 2,000, 10,000 reviews on it. You know what? Maybe I want to add a little more to my cart. These are so beautiful. So many people love them. Once again, double checking. This is a very concerned buyer, wants to make sure this is a perfect buy. And they just added another bracelet before they were already going to check out. And this is how it works. So at the end of the day, how does UGC help you? It goes on the search results and it boosts traffic, qualified traffic, which reduces the marketing ads. They land on your site, bounce rates drop. They go through your site quickly because all their questions, all their answers, all their doubts and concerns are being answered quickly. They're getting that trust. They're, boost, they're boosting your sales. They went ahead and bought it. The content is coming in. The resales are coming in. The upsells. The community is being built. And all of a sudden, you have this amazing ecosystem of customers that love you, want to help each other out, and are making sure that everything is shared and exposed and everyone knows what a great product this is. And as you see, this has an incredible, beautiful cycle that builds on itself and over time builds the ROI, builds the influence because a hundred reviews is not the same as a thousand. So over time the ROI becomes exponential and it's truly tremendous if you do things right and place this content at the right time in the right places, what this can truly do to your business. Now I really have only scratched the surface and I want you guys to really talk to us. We have so much to offer. We have a lot to do for you. There's so many different things to do on your site, for the acquisition channels, for the retention, to save you time and save you money and make things flow seamlessly and naturally to help you grow. So please email us. Kate sits right next to me, kanderson at yelpo.com. Just ask for a free demo. We'll talk to you. We'll look at your site. We'll tell you where we can help and what we can do. But this is way too important for you to put on the wayside. And we're getting into the holidays and it's time to buckle down and hear your customers and what they're saying and make sure that everyone in the world knows how great of a business you are. Now, before we end this, I would love to see if anyone has any questions. All right, let's see which ones you guys have submitted. Is it legal to use photos from Instagram? Absolutely, absolutely. Not only does the customer want you to use it, but even more so, once it's posted on Instagram, it's public. So what we've actually done is pretty interesting. Even though it is public and you can just take it and put it on your site, why not use this as another opportunity to engage with your customers? Why not just take advantage, right? So for example, what Yako actually built is a quick way to actually send a burst out to all the photos that you want specific to that user that actually asks them, hey, we love this photo. Would you mind letting us use it on our site for other customers to see. Just hashtag the word approve. They go ahead and see this post in the morning. They wake up ecstatic that the photo that they wanted the business to see was not only found but loved and they want to use it on their site. Of course, the person's going to jump on their phone and type hashtag approve and now you actually have permission even though you didn't really want it but you weren't doing that to actually ask permission. You were asking to just engage with them. Why not? And guess what they're doing right after they hashtag approve. They're going back to your website, right? Because they want to see that photo. And the beautiful part is as soon as they ask like the word approved, it pops up right there instantly. So it's really cool. People love it. It makes them feel the love from the brand and, and they'll actually most likely buy another product right there and then. Um, so the answer is yes, it's legal, but even though it's legal, you should still ask permission and just take advantage.
Now let's see, some of these questions are really funny. Uh, in regards to hashtags, I guess a lot of people have questions on Instagram. You can use all the hashtags you want, multiple hashtags. You can do the at sign and tag someone. Really just, we make it very easy. Very easy for you to be able to find the content all in one place, all in one platform. Again, this is what Yelpo is all about. One place to not just gather the maximum content, but gather it from all different places and seamlessly send it out through all of these different channels to acquire more customers and boost all your metrics all around. So awesome, everyone. Thank you all so much for your time. I really, really am really grateful. And I hope that you speak with us for more information because we really want to talk to you. We're here to help businesses grow and become independent and become incredible brands that everyone loves. And there's no better way to do this than by leveraging your happiest customers. They truly can do all this heavy lifting for you and become your best marketers you can ever imagine. So again, thank you, everyone. Enjoy the rest of your day. And we'll talk soon.